hosted by Ezra Love Thu. Am I the butthole for wanting to attend my ex-boyfriend's funeral? For some clearing up, my ex and I broke up on good terms. He was moving out of state and we both agreed that long distance wasn't going to work for us. I was out with my boyfriend and I was talking to a worker at a store while my boyfriend was holding my phone for me. I had gotten a text from my ex's mom that Reedlian's funeral is next weekend. I think he'd like it if you'd attend and so would I. He gave me my phone and I told him. Well, I guess we should find a dress while we're out. After that, he looked at me and said, you're seriously going. Looking rather upset, I told him that I was going and I had to pay my respects to him and his family who I still kept contact with. For clarification, I was the last person he was with, and we never hated each other. We were in a seemingly perfect relationship, no cheating, arguing from time to time yet, but we were fine. But my current boyfriend is making me out to be the bad guy, saying things like, yep, yeah, but he's your ex, and why would you even consider going? I just need someone to help me with this problem. And now to the comments. Smutternot likes to add, not the butthole you can't have a future with someone that you can accept has a history. Ian the real deal likes to add. Not the butthole and you need to dump your insecure H of a boyfriend. Your ex died and his family wants to see you. Your current boyfriend is jealous of on alive guy. Your ex's family, whom you still speak to, directly invited you. You would be in the H for not going. A comment from RB1327. Not the butthole. You want to go. Your ex's family has invited you, so they would like you to go. Your current boyfriend's reaction to the situation is immature at best and malicious at worst. Dolkamatha likes to add. Not the butthole. I am so sorry for your loss. Your boyfriend is weird for getting upset that you're going to attend the funeral. Who the hell gets mad at the sofa attending a funeral? Travelling Techie commented. Not the butthole, you are not required to despise your exes and their family's boyfriend is an insecure joke. A comment from Chris's 7324. Red flag jealousy vibes from your current boyfriend here. Yes, you can be friends with ex and yes, you should pay your respects. He needs to learn to grow up. Not the butthole. Red Junkie likes to add. Info, why would you even consider being with your current boyfriend? Which a plantoman commented. I had a big long post typed up. I deleted. I'm going to say one thing. If you had a relationship with anyone past or present and they have passed away, no one has the right to say don't go. It does not matter the relationship. Lover, friend, family, enemy for goodness sakes. If you feel you need to be there, go. Everyone processes grief differently. Definitely not the butthole. To the next post. Posted by Rough Silver 5515. Am I the butthole for going into my sister's room and taking all of my stuff back? I'm on mobile, so I am sorry for mistakes. A 19 female still live at home with my family. Mom for D6 female, sister for teen female, brother to male, and stepdad for D7 M. Brother and stepdad are not relevant here. For the past couple of weeks, I have been noticing my sister walking around the house in my clothes. Every time I ask her where she got them, she says she found them downstairs, which is impossible because I do my own laundry and never leave it downstairs. I have diagnosed OCD. I know for a fact it's impossible something gets left behind. The day I saw her wearing a pair of shorts I just brought up for the warm weather and I had enough. I told her I was going to go and get all of my stuff out of her room because she seemed so comfortable going into mine. My mom and sis objected immediately mom is an enabler and has other issues so she defaults to sis side. I went up there and ended up bringing out a big basket of all my clothes and even found makeup, candles and money that I had hidden in my drawer that was missing. My sister does not work and my family is not financially capable of giving her the money that I was missing. I worked two jobs and saved my tips to get tattoos. All while I was searching, my sister was screaming and my mother was playing worship music and rebuking the demon oppressing me. Like I said, issues I got all the stuff out of her room and back into mine and now it's quiet. My mom did say that it's just a sister thing and I should be more respectful of her space but why would I do that if she isn't going to do the same? 
I don't know, maybe this is childish and I should just drop it but it makes me irate when she does this kind of stuff. Am I the butthole? Edit, I have a lock on my door but mom requires a key to keep it on there. If she does not get one she's threatened to take my door off the hinges she's done it before which now that I am an adult would not be ideal. Thinking about just barricading the door at this point lol. And now to the comments. A comment from my Vanka's prison guard. Not the butthole. Your sister is a thief and your mum is clearly insane. Get out of that house. Not the bees I likes to add. Not the butthole. My mother was playing worship music and rebuking the demon and oppressing me. This may be petty and therefore not good advice, but the next time steps us lies and steals, rebuke her for the demon which causes her to 1. Covet 2. Bear false witness and 3. Steal and rebuke your mother for the demon which causes her to enable a wayward child and fail in her parenting duties. Coyote Rat likes to add. My mom acts sort of similar. She knows my sister is awful but allows it because she's just a teenager she's only a year older than your sister and three years younger than me so my sister will be homophobic transphobic and attack my mental health but somehow I'm sensitive when I get upset. So trust me when I say you will never be the butthole for standing up to negligent, ignorant or just plain dismissive family members. A comment from Forward Nothing 5979. Lock the butthole. Can you lock the door? If not, get a lock for closet and a safe for cash. Anyway, you move out. The missing money and praying about demons thing isn't a healthy living environment. To the next post. Hosted by Asian Throwweight War Thousand. Am I the butthole? For using an Asian accent to show my roommate how to cook rice. I'm going to preface this with the fact that I'm 100% Asian Vietnamese specifically. I'm mostly fluent in Vietnamese and I've been speaking the language since I was a kid, even though I was born in the US. Hence, I have a very slight accent when speaking English, but I really doubt it's noticeable enough. One of my roommates had his girlfriend white over for dinner the other night. His dinner plans included rice, we both have rice cookers, and he asked me how to make good rice while I was making my own dinner. He didn't ask me because I was Asian, asked me because I knew how to cook and he's seen me cooking dozens of times. Regardless, I told him how to use a rice cooker like Asians do, wash the rice a few times, throw away the measuring cup, and use the first joint of your finger to determine the water level. I did all that in an exaggerated Asian accent, specifically modeled after Nigel NGS uncle Roger Persona to reinforce the point and that I was not bullshitting him. After I finished teaching him, I switched back to my regular voice. Apparently, his girlfriend took offense to this. She wait, need I remind you said that I was perpetuating stereotypes and that I shouldn't be using an accent since it just reinforces the stereotype. I, in no uncertain terms, told her to mind her own business and that I get to use the accent if in getting an Asian-centric point across as an Asian. I also told her that it was like telling black people to stop using the N-word if it's their thing, they get to use it how they please. So I'm at the butthole. For using an Asian accent while Asian. Throw away because I want to keep my main down low. Edit, so this is what people mean when they say our key inbox. Edit, and this is the point where I turn off inbox replies. And now to the comments. Is CJ Hawk likes to add. Not the butthole. Sounds like the girlfriend has a white savior complex. Etta, thanks for the awards. A comment from Rissen Tax V2. Not the butthole. I am Asian and the Uncle Roger inspired accent is funny. Though if I was Rumi, I would think you're 100% bullshitting me, lol. Roommate's GF needs to mind her own life. We can make fun of our own. What's defensive at all? I am not even sure what stereotype she is talking about. That some Asians have thick accent and sound, I don't know Asian. Lol. A comment from Dacha says sucks. Not the butthole. White people need to stay in their lane and stop pretending to save the world from racism. Before anyone gets emotional, I might. Mess W2 commented. This is funny as hell. The white savior complex is strong in that one. Hazel2468 likes to add. Not the butthole. I remember one time I got this poop from someone. 
A friend asked me about Passover since the topic came up when we were discussing plans, and I explained in the most exaggerated old Jewish man from Brooklyn accent that I could learn it all from my grandfather, he spoke exactly like that. I got a few laughs, especially from the folks there who had met my grandfather. One friend told me I was being anti-Semitic and that it was racist of me to mock Jews like that. I told her that she could keep her stupid butt opinions to herself, seeing as she was not Jewish. She also told me I was perpetuating stereotypes. Again, told her wedgish of it. That's where I stand on people who are not in a group and it's usually, at least in my experience, someone who has had the privilege of never experiencing the type of oppression they accuse you of telling people how to joke. The best way I can explain it is how I explain gallows humour. If you're the one being hung, it's gallows humour. If you're not, then you're just some butt in the crowd laughing at some poor guy about to bite it. To the next post. Posted by Cough to Kebaburi. Am I the butthole? For being angry at a girl for her mental illness. A 20 male live in an apartment with Dan 20 male near our college. Dan and I have been friends since high school, but we only got close upon becoming roommates in college. Dan is girlfriend of two years, Kayla 19 female. Kayla practically lives at our apartment, though she is supposed to be living with her parents and commuting to our college. She lived in an off-campus apartment with a few other girls until earlier this semester, but was apparently ostracized there because it was a toxic group. Kayla racks up dishes in our kitchen, has her makeup and various skull poops scattered about our bathroom, and will just stay on our couch taking bong rips all day while Dan is in class. Kayla is an art therapy major, her coursework isn't hard. I've asked Kayla why she does not go to class and she'll give me some snarky comment about how that's none of my business or whatever. Fair enough. But then Dan will complain to me because Kayla said I was shaming her for her ADHD symptoms and making her feel pathetic for having mental illness. I don't know, I asked why she never goes to the class that she cough her parents pay for. Then there was another incident when I confronted her because she racks up dishes and never, ever cleans them. I came home from spring break and the sink had grown into this moldy, disgusting biohazard, and our living area had become strewn with Kayla's clothes and reeked of unscooped cat litter at the share a cat. I confronted Kayla, asking her to clean up her mess, and she broke down into a blubbering mess because cleaning reminds her of her abbing parents shaming her for being dirty so she does not. Also her ADHD. My final straw was yesterday when I brought up next year's housing to Dan. He insisted we get a three-person lease so that Kayla could live with us. I told him no, I don't want to live with Kayla, why the hell would we do that? He said that due to Kayla's mental illness. As she has severe attachment issues so does not feel comfortable in their relationship when Dan isn't by her side 24-7 and... He Kayla refuses to keep commuting because her mental illness prevents her from getting to class with a commute but has no roommates to board with. In done. I started shouting at Dan that his girlfriend needs to start acting like a effing adult and stop claiming mental illness to avoid every single inconvenience in her life. Kayla is appalled and is trying to cancel me, thinking that I'm heartless and hate the mentally ill. So am I the butt? Dear listener, do you like my voice? Please tell me which speaker you prefer in the comments below. And now to the comments. A comment from me and D. Osmond. I am mentally ill. Bipolar Roman too. My wife is too ADHD and some other stuff. And sometimes things get bad like that in our house. But we actually do poop to make things better because we don't want to have gross dishes and the cat's leather box is clean and we at least do our white to tidy things up enough that they are at least out of the way. Kayla may be mentally ill, but she is also in butt. Mentally ill not assholes actually try to be better, or at least do not F up other people with their mental illness. And since she is the butt, you are not the butthole. A comment from Chipmunk Sweet 5994. Victim mentality is one hell of a thing. Not the butthole, probably ought to move out and stay clear of that one. A comment from Slap the Homeless. Ha, as an ADHD ridden college grad shirt, who also smokes weed, she and Dan are buttholes for not cleaning that can cat litter, that's gross and their cat's probably gonna get a UTI, and if I ever saw multi dishes in my sink I would flip bucking poop. Not the butthole OP, don't put up with that nasty bullshit. A comment from where it it again. Not the butthole. This being mentally ill and this weaponizing your mental illness. 
I have ADHD too and was unmedicated all through college and the first few years of my kid's life and while, yeah, some things got difficult at points, I would never expect someone to make every possible exception for my shortcomings because of mental illness. If she knows she's not a reliably clean contributor to her household, she needs to accommodate herself in that way to a point or her partner does if he's okay with it, it does not mean you have to be. You may have been insensitive in your response, but it's also understandable that all those frustrations build up. Early Terminus 2000, 578 likes to add. Not the battle don't sign a lease with Dan. A comment from KOC Games. Not the battle. Let them have a two person lease and move out. Tustam MMMMMM likes to add. This isn't the killer problem. It's a damn problem. He needs to limit his girlfriend's presence in the house and keep her from disturbing you. She's effing with your peace and comfort. Not the butthole. If not, find another place to live. You are able to legally break your lease if it's unlivable, and she is causing an effect of eviction by driving you out of your home. To the next post. Posted by Powder Puff Penguin. Am I the butthole? for telling my stepmom she is no better than the girls who tormented her in high school. A 24 female believe my stepmom married to my dad is a narcissist. Growing up she used to always find creative ways to backhandedly put me down and compare me to my bio cousin and her nephews. This cousin of mine is like the golden child in her eyes she can do absolutely no wrong whatsoever. I was always told I had to be more like her and less like myself. As a result, I was always increasingly self-conscious and embarrassed of failure. This past Thanksgiving, I went home to visit all of them and cousin decided to come up since she's in nursing school close by. The whole time my family is fawning over her in front of me like she's the next coming of Christ, yet nobody bothers to acknowledge me. I currently am in graduate school for math, yet cousin being a nurse takes the cake I guess. The night before Thanksgiving, we were all hanging out in the kitchen while stepmom begins kissing cousin's donkey once again, this time claiming shall make so much money. She then turns to me and says too bad you'll never make as much as her in your lifetime. I explained that most professors make well into the six-figure range in my department which is true BC I've seen the numbers myself and she just keeps gaslighting me telling me I'm wrong. I told her it's absolutely ridiculous that she's comparing us by money and not by the fact we want to help people through important professions. I then got fed up after everyone just blankly stared at me and nobody called stepmom out for being a bully. So I went upstairs to continue working on my schoolwork. Later stepmom comes up and smugly asks if she can help me. I told her nope and continued back to my work. She then stands there and starts instigating a fight, claiming that I treat my dad like poop and that I'm being disrespectful. I told her she embarrassed me in front of my family and ruined yet another visit for me. I then called her a bully to her face and told her she is no better than those girls who tormented her throughout high school if she even thinks her behavior toward me is acceptable. She seemed stunned at my statement and ran downstairs crying like a baby. Now here's why I think I may be in butthole. My stepmom was horribly bullied by the other girls at her school growing up. They used to stuff on alive animals in her parents' mailbox and call her vulgar names, like SL Asters T for example. I don't think it's fair she's taking this pain out on me, since I had absolutely nothing to do with it, but am I the butthole? For making this comparison. And now to the comments. A comment from Bearded Bunny. Not the butthole. Your stepmom played the old classic game F around and find out. She fucked around and she found out. Comparing you by potential salary is ridiculous and childish. You removed yourself from the situation and then she followed you to instigate it further. You are not the bot toll for reminding her that she didn't like being treated like poop and is now making someone else feel like poop. Bullied or not, she is the butt. Cemetery Dweller 7719 likes to add. Not the bot toll. She is no better than those girls. Truth hurts. Yes, unalive animals in the mailbox is horrible. So is bullying your stepdaughter for years just to make yourself feel better. A comment from BVVVV Honest Opinion. Not the butthole. She is a bully. You were just pointing it out. The truth hurts. The fact that she didn't stuff unalive animals into your belongings does not make her less of a bully. Her bullying is psychological than physical. About time she got called out. Cackling Moss Hag likes to add. 
not the butthole. Sounds like you're giving her a dose of the truth. If she does not like being called a bully, she shouldn't be a bully. Happy Life Coffee Helps commented. Not the butthole. She is abooing and a bully. I would go out to breakfast with just your dad and explain to him how his wife treats you and makes you feel. Tell him these are the reasons why you will no longer be visiting. Ultimately, he is the biggest a-hole because his job is to protect and stand up for you as his child, yet he is continually allowing his wife to abuse you and has no spine to stick up for you. Dogamatha likes to add. Not the butthole. She is a grown butt adult. If she is using you as some kind of punching bag, she shouldn't be surprised when you decide you're tired of her poop. A comment from Accomplished Twist 3. Not the butthole. Stepmother shouldn't tear shit out if she can't take it. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider liking and sharing. I wish you a great day.